This is Dad and Son DIY, and today we're going to be fixing this old drill. The problem with this drill was that the battery was broken, so as you can see, we got rid of it. Instead, we replaced it with this DC cable, which supplies the amount of volts it needs for it to run properly. If you want to check out the supplies needed to make this project, everything will be listed in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. The first step is to unscrew all the screws holding the drill together. It's important, however, to keep track of where the screws go because some of them could be different sizes. After that, you can slowly take the two halves apart, making sure not to damage anything. At this point, you can clean any grimy parts of the interior with a simple cloth. Now it's time to mod the drill. These are the contact pins that the wires are going to connect to. To make sure that the wires are able to make a secure connection, I drilled a hole in the pins with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Make sure to apply some oil on the metal to prevent the bit from overheating while drilling. I also used a piece of wood to add support between the two pins. This is how the holes turned out at the end. As you can see, they're not quite centered, but that's okay. Now we can connect our electrical cord to the drill. Make sure that its specifications match the drill's requirements. I slid the exposed wire through the hole and wrapped it around the contact pin like so. After that, I wrapped up the exposed wiring with electrical tape to keep the wires from touching and short circuiting. After that's done, you can start reassembling the drill. At this point, you could screw everything together and you would be fine. I, however, felt that the drill didn't look finished with the wire coming out of the bottom. Instead, I decided to drill a hole in the side of the chassis to route the cable through it. It was after the cable was routed when I felt ready to screw the drill back up. After everything was screwed up, we could finally test the drill. As you can see, it worked perfectly. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like as it would mean a lot to me. If you really loved it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.